Okay, ready? Go. So here I'm opening my Affinity Photo. So the reason why I'm using Affinity Photo is because I'm trying to move on from Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, because of the subscription-based um, payment is a bit too much for my budget. And also that it's time for me to need, learn a new program. So I thought, um, while I'm drawing this on in this time lap, um, I will talk to you about how to learn or adapt new art programs, such um, like uh, Affinity Photo and any other photo, um, program like Krita or um, Autodesk Sketchbook. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, and and I would like to tell you some tips that I learned how I would. Um, adapt into a new program like Affinity Photo and the first thing I would do is start a project like start a project where I want to draw a comic book page or I want to coloring in a, a fan art like what I'm doing over here with blood force trauma done by Jake Smith and Harim Corbett and using a project is a great way for you to set up the program and start straight away in, into the program and delve into it. No excuses, just get into it. Not using any other programs apart from the program you want to learn from. And, and I kept it very simple. So I just tried to keep use simple tools, simple brushes, almost the same way I would do in Photoshop, but like keep it simple so I can like figure out the program very, very easily and not having a hassle. Uh, I will have a hassle, of course. Uh, as you see now, there's gonna be some weird green stuff and I will like figure out what the hell is going on here and figure out where all the stuff are. Like I just found out how to get the brush tool and set up the brush tool. So having a project or something to work with in the program helps you to push you to learn the program and not make excuse like I, I will learn it, I will learn it, but instead you will uh, sit down and draw. Just take it out of your time, have a project in mind and just draw. And and the way I figured out what the green problem was, either go, go to Google or YouTube and figure out what it is but it's actually uh, a little um, a mistake. Uh, when you press the B button for brush, like in Photoshop, instead I got a, a sort of like a painterly wet effects um, kind of brush. So I learned, okay, I have to be careful when I press B, I need to make sure I select the right um, brush tool. So moving on to the next tip I would say is do tutorials, like find a, a tutorial or like a little uh, how to article or YouTube and see how they do it and follow the follow it step by step. That way you can learn like, okay, this is where this is, this is how this has been done. And then from there you can do it your own way, but now you know how to do certain things certain the way you can do it in your own way because not every person's gonna do the same effect from point A to point B in one program. I've been uh, working as a graphic designer for many, many years now, probably 13, 14 years, I'm not sure. And I worked with a graphic designer and um, the graphic designer was like, no, you have to do the program, uh, you have to do it in this way. And I was like, but I didn't tell the graphic designer, I was just like, but there's so many ways to do the same thing for, in Photoshop in many ways. Like if how to 
make a gradient effect or a certain certain effect and or even what I can remember is um, the graphic designer want me to use the pen the pen tool to deep edge the product out of the background in a certain way and I'm used to uh, doing my certain way is I combine what she taught me and what another designer taught me and I just combine it to and it and stuck with me for years and that's how I would do it and it's the fast way I can do it because certain people are so used to the nuances and the way uh, the person um, do the task at hand and learn the program so like over here I started to learn how to use the gradient as a layer and then suddenly I found out, oh, you can do the circle effect and just play around. So that's another thing is play around the program. So use a project and just play around. Uh, have a sort of a goal in mind at the end of the end of the project. You you had a certain goal of a outcome that you want to get. And my goal was just I want to finish colored piece out of this fan automate and using simple tools to get there and that comes to another tip that I also um, learned also is when working to a new art program or any other program like even Art Effect or um, Da Vici um, what Da Vici Resolve is that take what you know so far of programs and um, how you work around it and try to use the same way into the new program and see if that's doable. If not, learn it. Learn a new different technique of, oh, this is how I should mask things. So you see over here, I'm brushing over this um, brush thing and then I try to figure out how to mask the background. And I figure it out so that way the red, um, the, the stuffs are only red because I just found out I couldn't figure out how to draw over the lines. This is one of the tricks I will um, teach you in Photoshop at some point. But over here, I had to use the basic tool. Just like, it's almost like um, you are stuck with this program and you just have to learn it and you just have to use the basic tricks and and use that using the basic tricks will find uh, help you to be creative like only I can only do this in a certain way so I'm going to do this basic trick or I'm going to do it this way you know and it's it's a good way for you to um, try to figure out the program as you go along and like for here the way i use shadows is always like this i make a new layer i use a dark purple color and i put the op uh, opacity uh to 50 percent and my mode is normal or sometimes multiply it depends on how i want to get the color out and i just draw over that's how i do it all the time with all my um all my coloring works and my uh, illustration and comic book work is always 50 percent and multiply and i kept that simple and the reason why i keep it simple is it's just easier for me to get it going and not uh being hold back by silly little things like i can't figure out why it's not working and as, as i said it's like I used this, some of these techniques to help me learn the program. It's keeping things simple. I have a tutorial. Uh, I I don't even know this on this video. I did pause this video at some point to figure out the why the green thing is making a weird mess. And I also use tutorials and YouTube help me figure out to get do a certain tricks or effects and I stuck in it that way and then um, so what I've learned is that a lot of people have a tendency to stick in a certain way of doing things in, in certain programs like Photoshop, After Effects uh, etc 
and in the best way is keep it simple keep it basic and you learn from there if you want to do something extra with what you've done then play around play around until you like figure out this is, is this what i'm looking for if it's not then go back to and try another way of figuring things out So, um, I also use references from Blood Force Trauma. That's, this, uh, this is what the fan art is based on. It's done by Jake Smith and Harim Corbett. Uh, they just re recently released, uh, uh, I mean, not released, just got funded uh, on the Kickstarter for issue three. And I'm not sure, I will check it up. I'm sure the fourth issue is also added in because if they reach a certain stretch goal they will uh, get the issue for on the go because they really worked out the um, story for that it's a really cool project um, and the story is quite awesome it's about this kid Sab Daniel the the guy with the cool uh, pink visor he's been um, lumped into this world of uh, street fighter kind of um, like interesting characters fighting against each other and he has to adapt and learn how to defend himself and this is i think lighting legs can't remember uh lightning leg jones uh just got up now luckily it just came up and so yeah so as you can see i'm just keeping it simple trying to learn how to use a program as simple as possible because i learned the trick of kiss keep it simple stupid as much as you want to like cool make cool tricks and do cool um design stuff it's best to um keep it simple that you can get the uh, end goal very easily instead of like um working on hours and hours not getting it right and and sticking to goals it will help you to get where you want to be. Like over here, I learned how to use Gradient because it's one of the things I, I use a lot in my Photoshop and I just learned how to use the modes, but that's fun that you actually use the mode inside the effect panel of the Gradient. It is better to do this way. So that way, having mistakes will teach you how to, um, to learn the program better. And then from here, I started to use the title and bring it in. And I, unfortunately, it's a, a low resolution. So the graphic designer in me is like, no, I can't, I can't have it like this. It's, it's, it's not working. So I thought, how about I make a new layer and just draw over, over it, but actually look at the brush uh, category in the right hand top corner. You, as you see I'm just playing around and see what is there and see oh, okay and this it's got this effect it's got a, a lot of cool um, categories and it's almost similar to Photoshop but this one's kind of it's a little bit better because I can categorize and certain like um, what you call it brush um, family like almost a fun family instead so here i just play it around and as soon as i do this i'm like oh it looks really cool it's got a cool dynamic thing and then i do my graphic design um my graphic design element into this where i um use a little bit of effect and play it around and see what can be done so i like to use a lot of like an almost underneath gradient texture kind of thing and then i add another layer of the same color and then move it around a bit and then i always uh, another tip i would add in is just always play around always don't stop if you've got a cool idea just try it and see what you can get out of it and just keep on doing it because if the idea is not doesn't work don't give up just move on from it maybe down the line you will figure it out because um 
out of blue, you're like, oh God, I didn't realize I could do this and maybe I should have done this, this previous program. Or you just learn a new trick and you later on, you will use that trick again. Here, I just went to check the third person, um, not third person, second person's um, name, Harim uh, Corbett. Uh, pardon if I got your name wrong. Uh, but Jack, uh, Jack Smith is the artist and writer and Harim Corbett is also the writer. I just quickly fixed the eye and then here's the final product. So, so keeping things simple, having a project in mind to learn the program, this is the best way for you to get your mind into it and learn the nuances of the program and, and go from there. And keeping it simple, so from there you can start getting more ambitious and getting more, um, more adventurous so yeah i hope you enjoy this and learn a bit from it and cheers hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, and listen to my tips uh, please do uh, add some of your own tips that what you've learned and how you adapt into new programs i would love to hear them and see um, what i can learn from you guys and also um Black Force Trauma is apparently fully funded. It's finished now, but I'm sure Jack Smith's got a shop that you can order some of the other ish, uh, the previous ish, two issues. And um, please do go to his YouTube channel, check it out. He's got some really cool drawings. Uh, um, what do you call it? Drawing time lapse, or somebody talks about stuff. He also, um, please also do check uh, the Facebook, uh, like them, subscribe them stuff, and um, please do support them if you can, because I believe in supporting your friends and supporting the comic book scene as much as you can, because in times of like these, and also um, if you want to support me, um, you're welcome to do buy me comic uh, coffee, not comic coffee. But I don't drink coffee, so I drink milkshakes, so it's the same to me, so I need more milkshake. It's, it's my fuel to my drawing uh, nights. So please do, I'll put them uh, in the description below. If, not, it's not, if it's not there yet, I will announce on the next video, but yeah, enjoy it, stay safe, and support your comic book scene, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. If you want to support me, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Good evening and cheers.